boys and girls, my name is Lissa. I'm here to tell you the next part of our Baghdad story. Well, when we left off, we had just talked about how Jesus was the rescue plan and how God had put that rescue plan into place and how Jesus had satisfied the rescue plan. You see, because Jesus died on the cross and rose again, he took our punishment. And now we can have a relationship with God. Our broken relationship because of sin is now fixed because of Jesus. Well, let's take a step back and think about Jesus as friends. If we put ourselves in their shoes, I think they'd probably be really sad, right? Jesus had just died. They're so sad. Their best friend is gone. They didn't really even understand why did he have to die? Well, Mary decided one day that she was going to go and visit Jesus at his tomb. We sometimes do that, don't we? Even today, we go and visit people at their gravesite and, and, and just think about them, remember them. Well, Mary was um, arrived at the tomb and she saw a very unusual sight. The stone was rolled away and angels were declaring that Jesus had rose again. He was no longer dead, he was alive. Well, this is blowing her mind. She races back, several of the women, they race back to tell the other disciples. Well, Peter and John, they did not believe the women. So they ran to the tomb as well to check it out. And sure enough, there were linens and, 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 and cloths laying on the tomb, in the tomb, but no body, no Jesus. Now, that is how they prepared bodies back in the day. And um, so it wasn't unusual for them to see the cloth that Jesus' body was wrapped in. But Jesus wasn't there. It was an empty tomb. Well, all the disciples got back together in a secret room. They were hanging out. They were talking about, oh my goodness, what, what happened? What do you think? They were confused. They were even a little scared. And some of the disciples didn't even believe it. Well, guess what? Jesus came to visit them. I think that's pretty cool. Jesus was concerned about his friends. He showed up, he talked to them, he told them what was happening. It was amazing. But guess what? Thomas wasn't there. Thomas was one of Jesus' disciples. And when the disciples saw Thomas later on, he said, Psh, you guys, you don't understand. We just saw Jesus die on a cross. There's no way he could be alive. No, really, really. We saw him. He's alive. We talked to him. He's alive. Jesus is alive. Well, Thomas said, until I see him face to face, until I touch him, there's no way I'm going to believe what you guys are saying. Well, guess what? Jesus came to Thomas and he said, Thomas, look, I am alive. Touch me. Put your hands on my hands where I had the nails in my wrists and in my feet. Thomas, look, I'm eating food. I'm not a ghost. Ghosts don't eat food. I'm eating food with you. I'm drinking water with you. I am really Jesus and I'm really here. Well, you know what Thomas did? He fell to his feet and said, Lord, Lord, surely you are Jesus. And you know, this is my favorite part of the story. Jesus said, Thomas, because you saw me, you believe. Blessed are those who don't see me and still believe. I think that's a good message for us, isn't it? Because we actually haven't physically seen Jesus, but we have faith that Jesus did raise again the third day. And because he did this, he defeated sin and we can live with him. Well, friends, Jesus didn't just show himself to the disciples or just to his friends. 
he actually appeared to over 500 people. He even did several miracles and it was super cool because you know, I think if Jesus wanted to make sure that everyone knew that he had risen from the dead, they needed to know just a few more people than 12 or 24, right? God chose 500 people to tell this amazing, incredible news that Jesus had li lived and um, rose again. Wow, friends, I'm certainly glad that Jesus did because now we can have a relationship with him. And I also think it's pretty cool that Jesus said, blessed are those who don't see me and still believe. It gives us hope to know that one day we will get to see Jesus and how exciting that will be. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for this great story, this reminder of how you care about your friends, how you cared about people, that you came to see them and comfort them and show them that you are real, that you love them, and that you died for them and rose again. Lord, I thank you so much for this incredible story. Help us to believe and have faith, Lord. And I pray that we would tell others about you. We lift these things to you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends, don't forget that remember verse, and I'll see you next time. Bye!